tires are dulcet tones and limpid pools for eyes. More than that. I don't know what you just said. Dulcet tone. Dulcet like, tones. Dude. I just That's have what we one got. tone. I just have one tone. That's right. My name is Nyokan, and this is how I can. <laughs> That's how Twitch chat casts. They always just type in the same tone. You guys got to mix it up a little bit. <sighs> anyway. I got I to gotta know where Caster got that suit, man. He's balling. Like, like, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to cast in, like, a suit and tie here now? You know what I like the most about it? Look at the glasses with the suit. It's also gray. Matching how gray. How does he do it? It's so stylish. Like, the Korean women here, I think, are very stylish. But Castro's, like, matching them. You're right. He's right up there with Korean women. I, that, that's our tier list right now. Number one, Korean women. Number two, Castro. Yeah. <laughs> what a baller. All right. Well, let's uh, watch our battle. The Peruvian powerhouses. It's the only P word I could come up with. Prodigies is another one. And see who is going to advance on and who will be eliminated from BSL round of 16 group B. All right, in uh, the upper left-hand corner, I actually didn't realize that we have mini us on the screen now during the game. Is it, whoops, I have to mute that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, that was awkward. Anyway, uh, so you guys can see how awkward we look while we cast. But anyway, the uh, the idea is that we're in our elimination match. Saron character. That's all you, I don't speak Spanish. Yeah, I thought I spoke Spanish until I tried to read that. It's too late at night, guys, that's my excuse. In the upper left-hand corner, in uh, the gray, playing Terran is a Goku. And in the bottom right, we've got the pink Zerg. It is Castro. So you think we're gonna see two racks again? Do you think that's a possibility? I mean, look, that proxy third racks that we were doing, I liked it. it that was... actually was pretty genius. If he if he calculated out all those things, like you're going to build Sunkins, you're going to send Mutas across that, then this guy's actually a genius. And, But I don't know if that's going to work versus Castro because this guy yeah. generally just plays three hatch. Also, they're both from Peru, so you would imagine they hit each other often they should uh, on they the sh ladder they should hit each other on the uh, often on the ladder we have to specify that yeah yeah they're not guys... they're not punching that's each right other. this is not brood war fight club although wait wait who called their tournament fight club was it doc holiday uh yeah fight night oh yeah fight night okay yeah <laughs> in the game that's why yeah every time you say like something very aggressive you just have to add in the game afterwards to make it okay um, those are your rules of trash talk. So I like the two racks that Goku is going. It seems like he's playing very comfortably when he's getting aggressive out there. We're not doing something super crazy, like, you know, eight racks in the middle or something like that. But I do really like his aggressive play style. And I think that especially somebody that likes to get greedy, like uh, Castro could really fall prey to that. Yeah, so we do have one rack so far. I don't think we're going to have a second Rax. So we have to wait and see what this SCV is up to. Looks like it is just going to be one Rax expand. So everything so far from him is normal. Meanwhile, we don't have two hatch play from Castro. That's expected because Castro's big time macro player. I would almost never guess he would go two hatch Muta. So everything is pretty much going according to plan, I would say. Now we saw Goku go for very fast plus one despite seeing a two hatch so i'm curious if we're going to see that again or if he's just going to go yeah. or if two racks is what he likes to face for or use versus three hatch but this is definitely going to be an expansion expanding <gasps> how dare he where's my more racks no i need one. more barracks out there uh yeah so it is uh going to be once again that expansion and i miss our one 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 days we were getting out random raids or drop ships and doing crazy stuff but no it's all about those minerals now. How dare they? Yeah, I'm still waiting for the 111 to come back. I've been talking about it for weeks, just still haven't seen it. You know, I've seen players like Light use more race these days, but I yeah. haven't actually seen Vessel play. You Flash said 111's too hard. You can't do it. You can do it. <laughs> if Flash says it's too hard, it's too hard, Nioka. I know, it's hard to argue with Flash, but you can do it. But regardless, we do have gas coming in for goku it is relatively fast for his build so this does look like we're going to have five racks type play 
Now we haven't seen him five racks just yet because so far we've only seen two hatch, but everything looks like it's gonna be five racks so far. Yeah. We have seen delayed mech a couple times from Dandy, so this could also be delayed mech. I don't see an eBay anywhere. Did Goku only have to play TBZ? I don't know. This is the first time I've seen Goku play. Oh, he won TVP earlier against Pro. I, fr I, uh, I forgot that. Man, I love that I can just say something and then Zero says the answer in my brain. This makes me so smart, unless I keep giving away that it's Zero telling me the answers. And then I don't look so smart. Thanks for the help. Uh, yeah, he did play Pro earlier, so that made uh, makes some sense. But yeah, his TVZ looks fantastic. So he's going up against Hawk, theoretically, after that if he wins. So he could just like start really really practicing those uh, aggressive barracks builds. No, we're playing it straight up this time. We do have the gas to the barracks, uh, or, uh, or the, uh, are you still on one racks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the engineering bay on the way uh, with plus one just now started. Yeah, so plus one has just now started, but I actually think Goku has messed up his build a little bit. Uh-oh. No academy do? anywhere. <gasps> and I think it's supposed to be there, but it might it, not have just, just not have made. It, yes. Just like what happens to our toast, <laughs> it just doesn't make. And this better not be a Rax, okay? He's not building another barracks. He's got to get his academy up. If you guys have not seen the cast that I just did of Rush versus Action, where can they see that? They can cast? find it on Starcast TV. On YouTube. On YouTube. And Twitter. And Twitter. Rush didn't build his academy for like 10 minutes. He had the game so in the bag. And I feel like I'm seeing that again because there's still no academy. He's hitting that stim button. He's like, wait oh, a second, my yeah. game's broken. He oh. just now starts it at 520 to give you perspective. Stim should basically be done at 520. Hmm. So we are in big time trouble. Spire's about halfway done. No academy done. No stim. No range. We don't even have a barracks flood just yet. Everything looked good in the beginning, but it looks like Goku's slowly falling apart. And just to clarify, um, like we don't lose now because we don't have stim. We lose in like in a few more minutes when Muta's hit, and we don't have range after that either. Um because everything is just so slow right now. The Spire is like a halfway, almost done before Stim has even been upgraded. Yeah. He's gonna actually have no upgrades with me. And he had to pull so many link or so many SCVs actually at the front. So his econ is really hurting. He's also been cutting SCVs consistently. So Goku's overall econ really in shambles at this point. And Castro doing Castro things Fourth hatch going up at a third base at 545. I watched him put it down. The ball's on this guy. How do, how many hatcheries are we allowed to take in this game? Uh, how many bases are there? One, two, There's three, like four, 18 five. bases. Okay, all right. Like we can just take all of them. Yeah. Why do we need build units to deal damage when we can build hatcheries faster than our opponents can kill it's them? It's just crazy the stuff that Castro gets away with it. He got mutas, he got his fourth hatch up. Also, it says Hydrogen is done, and he's upgrading Lurkers, and it's halfway lurkers done. Lurkers are halfway how done. Can, how can we spend all this and not get punished for it, yet somehow he does it? It's like that Kanye West song, no one man should have all this power. And he, he's playing so greedily, but I think it's absolutely the right time to do it. You're cross position, your opponent is late on his upgrades, his units have never left his base. Only right now is his first bio ball started to come out, and this is the most feeble, timid ball of bio I've ever seen. And wait until this giant clump of lings hits it. Yeah, we didn't even factor in that. He can just straight up kill it, and that's exactly what he's going to do. It looks like Castro wants to pounce on it while he can. Medics are out in front, so they're at least going to buffer a little bit of the damage, but not much. Oh, he's actually bringing the lings around to the side. The medics are not on. Bring the mutas in, and the lings are just slaughtering everything on the ground. These marines have stim, but they don't have range. And I guess the range didn't matter, but the low number of marines did and castro just runs goku over he didn't even lose a single muted there the lings actually just soaked up all the damage so all the key units survive lurker aspect is done we have so much gas available i really just hope castro just goes for a huge round of lings eight lurkers or something and just kills him there's four that there's six <laughs> okay. six lurkers so this looks like there's slings being started. So it looks like Castro, he hears me. He's just gonna go for the killing blow. Yeah. And just now we have factory started for Goku. So everything not going as planned for him. Yeah, all the way from slow academy to um, just not taking that fight well in the middle of the map. He just stimmed that bio and stood perfectly still. Nice. 
Um, and yeah, here come these lurkers. Like, oh, this is just gonna be so disgusting. Yeah, and he doesn't even have to attack with him. He can just burrow him and sit him there. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's he's already got his third base running. He's I was already gonna say, where's his... my fourth and fifth hatcheries going Oh, it's down. coming. Drones on the left side of the map. That's gonna be a base bottom left. That's mine. Only thing that Castro hasn't done is there's no queen's nest. Oh, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. We are missing the ensnares. Uh, a hallmark of our games today, apparently. But we're trying to stop these lurkers from getting into position. But uh, how, uh, how are we going to do that? Yeah, uh, lurkers oh. already set up. There's really not even that much bio. It's 12 marines, two medics versus a ton of lanes, a ton of lurkers. The mutas are still alive in the main, trying to focus down that eBay, but it's not going to get it. He needs to kill the SCV repairing, but instead he's actually just going to AFK all of his mutas and lose them to three marines. Yeah, but I don't even think it matters. He's just got so much lurkers. Oh, no, 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 bust. no. He's trying to bust through. He's actually going to kill several of the lurkers, but he loses almost all of his marines. Yeah, so it doesn't even matter if Castro loses this army. He can just slowly creep the lurkers. He's finally got his queen's nest done, so Hive is going to start pretty soon. I think he should start thinking about building some drones at his fourth base or take the hatchery at bottom left. But overall, Castro just really killing it. Science facility has just now started, or at least is about to start for Goku. So it's going to be a long so, yeah, time. What's our vessel time yeah. here? Are we looking at 13 minute vessels? This is going to be 1130, 1145 vessel timing. So a little bit slow there. Let's not even talk about a radiate yet. Oh, he's got a bad rally point. And the uh, Marines keep dying to lurkers. <laughs> So he's building tanks because he has to, to actually get out, but you don't really even want tanks because they're not going to help you <laughs> unless you if can. If tanks are how you bust out of your natural, something went wrong along the way. Yeah, and Castro's doing what I see on the ladder often these days is he's building so many lurkers. He's going up to 13 lurkers. There's no hydras mixed in <laughs> that I hit, but it is so many lurkers. He's going to have to get like five tanks to actually have a number that Castro is actually scared of. One tank, I don't care. You yeah, can, nobody, you who, can, who care that? You can siege it, I'll just move back. But once there's like five, now I have to act, actively watch my lurkers. But one, I don't care. Yeah, like he still cannot actually take another base at this point. Whereas you actually don't have a fourth base coming down for Zerg, which is maybe a little bit of an oversight um, because you could absolutely be being super greedy behind this, which is kind of, Castro's MO, right? Yeah, that's his MO. He's got Defiler Mound coming up. I like how he has a Sunken in the main in case there's a drop. So that's perfect because that's what a lot of Terrans do to try and get back into the game. So nice game sense from Castro there. Still no fifth base for Castro. One thing that is lacking for Castro is I have not seen an evolution chamber. As I say it, of course, it gets built. So at least go, nice. oh, here we go. Oh, we're going for it. Running in, even with that tank in the back, we're just shredding the bio in the front and we just run away again. Yeah, it just gets a few Marines, backs off, loses one Lurker, not Ooh. a huge loss. Uh oh, I don't know if that was the move to make with our bio here. Oh, he's got to do yeah, something. Yeah, he is so running he, by. He actually does get around and if he scanned the main, he should have saw the Defiler Mount timing. So he actually has a bit of time to actually get out on the map and do some damage. I love now, this vessel. It's like, I'll irradiate you. It's like the 18 lurkers there. It's like, okay, uh, sure, go for it. Well, Castro is going to set up some links and lurkers to try and defend this fourth base. Ooh, I hope they're on hold position, but Ooh, are they on hold position? Oh, oh, oh what? Oh, come on. That was supposed to be our big moment. How are we going to get clipped and get on the front page of Reddit if you didn't hold position those lurkers? <laughs> Exactly. Darn. Well, fifth base has finally started for Castro, but it has been scouted, so it's going to get taken out by Goku. But Defilers should be out. Consume is about done. I'm trying to see if we have any Defilers actually anywhere out on the map, though. I don't see any. So a good denial of the fifth base, but those units are going to be isolated. But still, really no... Ma oh, Vessel goes down. That's Jeez. the only one we have. Yeah, well, we, our Vessel... Can, I mean, it's not like the Vessel could really do anything without a Radiate, but at least it was visioned on the Lurkers. Now, how are you going to crawl across the map? What, are you going to scan your way out of your natural? Yeah, and we still have 10 Lurkers sitting here. <laughs> so despite killing... Oh, there we go. There's the Defiler on the right side. This is going to be Casco trying to, trying to end it. There's no... No, no damage that can actually hurt these lurkers. Assuming there's a dark swarm, and there is. So, have fun. 
Uh, loses one tank and two tanks. And when you move the bio out of the way in time, and there's no more Zerglings for the Defiler to consume until they run up and get consumed. Yeah, this so. is Castro. He's going to have a lot of links. He's got macro hatches in his main, so he's going to have tons of links just flooding in. And we have one vessel that has one irradiate. Oh, can he actually kill this Defiler before it gets the Dark Swarm uh -oh, down? Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're getting close. And there it is, the Dark Swarm on everything. The Lurker's running in and burrowing. All of that Terran is going to die, and there's nothing that can deal damage to these Lurkers. Absolutely nothing that can kill it. And this is probably going to be Goku tapping out. There's only one vessel. He's got Fire Bats, but there's so many Lurkers, you can't fight this many Lurkers with just this amount of Fire Bats. Jeez. I don't know if there's any amount of Fire Bats you could have to yeah, fight this amount of Yeah, get me out of this game. We are donezo. Uh, man, just devastating performance. And once again, it's Castro playing the way Castro plays super greedily. And I thought that would play into the hands of the very aggressive Terran player, uh, Goku. But he did not play very aggressively this game at all and wound up getting really punished for it. So let's watch our Firebat hope here. There's no hope for these Firebats. There's, There's like 12 off. Firebats. It doesn't matter. There's 12 Lurkers. <laughs> well, one Firebat beats one Lurker if they micro. I've never seen that. Well, here we go. Castro has so many links. Those were actually Lurkers coming. Not even Ling. So, how many, how many lurkers are these? Rapid. This is. It's like eight, 15, it's like fifteen. It's lurkers. like eighteen lurkers. <laughs> I feel like lurkers being called lurkers when they're a detected and b there's fifteen of them. I don't know if they're very good at lurking at that point. But uh, here we go. We're just gonna go for it. This is twenty lurkers. This is actually twenty lurkers with about twenty lanes. You know, it's been a cool minute since I've seen twenty lurkers, but. Look, when your opponent will not naga, you gotta go tell them to. So here's how we do it. Yeah, well, this is how you do it. You got Dark Swarm. That's how they need to get out. And here he comes, Lurkers. Again, no damage that can actually kill these Lurkers. Fire Rats are gonna try and stem in here, but they just get massacred immediately. Mm. We're dead. Mm. Yep, we yep. Are mega dead. We are out of here. GG. Goku taps out. And Castro will take game number one. Well, whew, that is pretty much how Castro plays. Yeah. <laughs> you don't punish him, he just murders you with macro. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, Goku messed up his own build, so that didn't help out. Yeah, that uh, somebody pointed out in chat that when Goku played in STPL, the non-Korean, or, or actually, we do allow Korean, the International Team League for Brood War, um, they, uh, he forgot range for his Marines in that uh, game that he played there too. So. It, Academies, man. They're pesky. It, it happens. I mean, it happens to me, too. I forget range a lot. There are fights where I'm like, I should win this fight, and I lose everything. I'm like, what happened? And I click the Academy, and I see no range, and I'm just, like, out of the game so fast, you don't even know what happened. I'm like, just get <laughs> those me Those are out. those real tilters. Just, like... just get me out. I'm like, just enough. I've had enough brood where we got to shut it down. <laughs> to play another day. <laughs> Today's not it. Well, it's not it for Goku so far. He's one game away from being eliminated from the BSL. And, you know, honestly, it's pretty impressive that he was able to not only qualify for BSL for the first time, but then also uh, make it to the round of 16. That's already pretty good. And as long as he doesn't finish last in this group, uh, he at least makes $25. So this is the match. Are you in the money? Are you yeah. in the tournament? This game is going to decide that for Goku. If not, Castro will just advance. And, you know, Castro has made it to the round of 16 before, I believe. That's where Zero tells me the answer to my question. Um, okay, I don't remember, and neither does Zero. So I'm just going to say it and quote it with authority. So he's been in at least BSL before, and he's played in other leagues, especially in South American leagues before. So he's the established talent. Let's see if he can close it out 2-0 here, or if Goku can come back as we get into our next map on Crossing Field. All right, here we go. The map is Crossing Field, and are you kidding me with these team colors? Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. They're actually our worst straight. possible. This is Nightmare on Elm Street. This is Friday the 13th. We I crossed the path of a black cat, broke a mirror, and walked under a ladder all at once, Sayokin. Finally, my worst dreams have come true. 
<laughs> this, is, this is actually what olive green so, versus like banana yellow. So I was talking to uh, this girl from China and she was trying, so t Chinese is a tonal language. So they have four different tones. For, so you can have one sound that has four words based on the tones. So she said the same sound with four different tones and it legit sounded like she was saying exactly the same thing each time. That's the verbal illustration of how close these colors are together because even though they are different, they look exactly the same. So let me see if I got this. Are you ready, Nyokin? Yes. Okay. In uh, the light yellow on the left-hand side of our map uh, is our Zerg player from Peru, uh, Castro. And on the right side of the map in the, what is what did we say this was? Olive green. Olive green. Uh, this is our also Peruvian player, Goku. These so, are, this is something else. Yeah, unfortunately, this game, you guys are going to have to watch the game while Nyokin and I stand up and take a walk uh, because <laughs> I would drinking to more my friend as well if I had to cast this game. Uh, well, we've got Castro actually mixing it up and I've played Castro on the, lot, on the ladder a lot. And I don't think he's ever done a nine pool versus me. So this is a complete mix up, at least for me. He's got six lings coming out. Goku, only one rack so far. Looks like we are banking up minerals to go for another fast command center. I'm trying to think of what he went for on this map. He did go for fast command center. Remember he had the perfect build oh, for what, right. Hawk was, yeah, yeah, yeah. what Hawk was doing until he we was moved out. He killing it and yeah. then he died. Then so. we moved out of position. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so probably not making that mistake. No, not again. the drone. No, no, no way he gets it. Oh my God! The last hit from that zergling. No justice in this world. So unlucky there. Now instantly bunker on the low ground. Now lucky for him, Castro's not getting gas because actually low ground bunker. Kind of risky. A lot of zergs will just run by it, or when they get speed, the links get completely around it so fast that the bunker oh, actually yeah, kind of right. hurts you. But at least it's crossing field where you can hold position. SCV's on the ramp. So we'll have to see if he tries to run by, I think. Not, okay. Good SimCity 2 with the command center. So this is actually a nice yeah. setup from him. Yeah, I pulled the right number of SCVs to block the little holes. Still, I'm a little bit skeptical. I always expect that. Man, we're just gonna have to play without a mini map this game because even, thankfully they're playing different races. If this was a ZVZ, I would legitimately walk away. I'm sorry, Nyoka. Like. Uh, yeah, Our love is real, be, but not that real. It would be painful. Yeah. So we do have Castro, three hatch, of course, no two hatch. Yeah. Gas coming up. Now this is three hatch with three base minerals for Castro. That seems Ooh. like the dream, basically, especially when you're Castro. So pretty good opener for him, but his nine pull did not deal any damage. At mm -hmm. least it forced a bunker. At least it forced an SCV pull, which is indirect damage right there. Yeah. So... At least he's got that going for him, but I still like Goku's position. Now, something I've noticed every game that we've seen Goku play is we've cut a lot of SCVs. We have consistently done it. So yeah. he better hit some type of timing because we know how cast or macros, he'll just run away with it. The biggest thing that I'm watching out for in this map is the, that back base because I feel like it always bites the players because it's very vulnerable to drops. And I think certainly that's one way that uh, Goku could do that. See, that's the thing about the about nobody going one 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 anymore, is that like drops in this situation would just be fantastic. But you know, obviously, you have got to also not die uh, when you do that build. So, I hope that comes into play at least eventually. But we are uh, we're speeding through our tech tree halfway to lair, speed halfway done as well um, for uh, for Castro. And obviously, like we said, those three mineral bases with three gases, so that is every Zerg's dream. And again, Goku's going for plus one armor. Okay, there, or plus one weapon. There we go, Academy has started, and I am factoring in the fact that we did get nine pulled, so it can be a little later than yeah. normal, but still a 445 Academy. Kind of slow, but since it is three hatch, it's, it's okay this time. So hopefully he does hit his upgrades. I think I think it'll be better, a, yeah. a bit better this time. Feels like Goku's freestyling a little bit with these builds, because uh, especially with the academy timing. But you're right, we we didn't have the this most standard opener uh, this game. Yeah. So hopefully we can kind of get things back on track, and everything will generally kind of work out. The plus one is there. Everything is there. 
What do you think about our racks timing? So we got open? four racks coming up, but again, it's cutting SCVs to do it, which mm -hmm. is a bit dangerous because this is going to be five racks. And when you five racks, you actually need a lot of SCVs to support it. So if you're cutting here, you're not going to really be able to build them up later on. So I really do think he's going to have to go for a timing. So we have to see if he can actually get something done. But I don't think Castro is really going to take any damage. He's just going to probably spam Sunkins at the front if that even happens. He doesn't have... What is he doing, man? How many hatch Fourth hatch go going up, macro hatch. He can put it in his main because he already has a third base. He's got evolution chamber started. Evo chambers. I, this is like one of those kids jump rope primes. Like how many hatcheries does it take? One, two, and we just keep counting. So we're at four right now, but we're not stopping there. I can promise you. Yeah, and his plus one armor. I mean, it's slower than plus one weapon, but it's probably going to hit by the time Goku actually wants to have a meaningful yeah. fight on that side of the map. So again, Castro really killing it, not getting punished at all. His fire just finished. He doesn't even really have any resources to build mutas, but it's fine because Goku's not moving out. So everything going perfectly for Castro. And like I said, huge SCV cuts from Goku down 35 drones to 28 SCVs. Absolutely massive cutting here. So he has to actually deal crippling damage with this move out. I mean, look, he does have a very scary army compared to what's on the other side. The mutas are just now starting to pop out, but there's only going to be about six or seven of them. Sunken starting uh, in plenty of time. So I think probably Castro is okay here. Yeah, he's just going to defend with mass Sunken. He's going to be going Ultraman with heavy upgrades, just waiting really for him to get the hive and then really just... I guess just run him over because he's gonna go straight into plus two armor. When you're Terran, you usually get armor afterwards. So yeah. his armor is gonna be, or Zerg's armor is gonna be ahead of the plus two weapon of Terran. So everything is just peachy for, for Castro. Now here comes Goku. Now this is a lot of bio. We do have only eight mutas, so he does have to be careful. This looks like a Hawk scenario where mutas are completely out of position. Marines, I think I mean, we're scouted but it doesn't look like we're turning around look it's been about eight years since we built an stv so even if the mutas fly into the main i don't think we care i think we we've got our our hand over the stim button and we're going for it so yeah, good we, luck we are going for it he does have plus one weapon it is two and a half groups maybe even three groups now five four sunken is a lot i think actually castro is dead here yeah if you look in the castro's main he is saying or uh goku's main he's losing everything so we're going for it this is it we've got one bus to stim them all uh so here we go how many stims does it take this is all we got all right we're going for it this is where we play that dragon ball z super saiyan power up noise ah uh, we're he's going dead. for it he's going for it he does it he's busted through the wall of sunkens and truly this is what it is to go further uh beyond well, the Mutas, they now realize they got to come back and save this base, but it's too late. This is two and a half groups. You can't win versus two Yeah, show two me and your, half your micro against two and a half groups of Marines. Uh, good luck with that one, homie. Oh, God. He just crushed through five Mutas just like they were butter. So Castro, he's got to pray that he can hold this ramp because if Terran gets up this ramp, it's over. Well, we did scan there. Hopefully, we have another one to scan to get up the ramp. But look at these Mutas just explode. He just loses another two Mutas, loses another Overlord. This is crazy. Yeah, so Goku, this was the only chance he had of making an actual victory in this game. That's and he it. makes it work. Damn, GG. When Goku knows, he goes. <laughs> that's what he does. That's that's my that's my motto. My mo my accurate my look at the resources. Moniker. This is what I'm talking about. We are cutting so uh, much. Yeah, so I'm sorry, did did do we need to mine minerals to kill our opponents? See, the secret is we only need to mine the right amount of minerals yeah. there. So, uh, yeah, I, SCVs, who needs them? Don't who, need them if you got... That? You don't need them how, if you got 50 Marines. How do you Marines. win games? Do you win games with SCVs or with Marines? No, Marines, Marines. Okay, we figured it out, guys. Wow, what a game. I mean, I love when players flip that coins because you know how many players I see, like, they get their Marines and they're like, it's time to win the game. They hit the stim button, they go in, and then all the Marines die. I'm like... <laughs> and they just leave the game. I'm like... Killing it, my man. Yeah. The number of games I see players like are like Artosis or any one of these like you know kind of mid tier Terrans, uh, like they'll have their bunker set up in the Zergs like right outside, 
and you know the Zerg's like totally all in. So you're just like, you got your 18 bunkers there and your like 25, I, I don't know, other defensive units and you're just sitting there and then the Zerg is like, it's time. And they just send everything in, everything dies and you leave the game. Like, <laughs> nice, but this is the opposite thing uh, where you do have enough to bust and it looks really good. You look really smart. Nobody cares that you maybe screwed up your build. But uh, either way, congratulations to Goku for tying us up and sending us to the map Clay Fields. This is the elimination match, so either Castro or Goku is out of here. Who's it gonna yeah. be? I don't know. Like, Castro's so greedy, man, and Goku got so much. I actually think it could go either way. I think Castro's better, but I don't know. Too close. Okay, well, let's get into the game and find out. The map is Clay Fields for game number three of our elimination match. So let's get into it and see who moves on. <laughs> so here we, here we go. In the bottom left-hand corner. Why do they do it? It's like they know. If we can prove collusion to mess the casters up with colors, we can disqualify both of these players now. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's see what we got here. In the bottom left, in the um, in the cobalt blue, uh, this is uh, Goku. In the top right, we've got the blue Zerg. It is Castro. Specifically, navy blue. Navy blue. There we go. Yeah, we got to be specific here because they're both blue, technically. Look, at least we got rid of the cyan blue that you couldn't yeah. tell from minerals. Yeah, so that's great. So Goku hit a really nice timing last game. Again, Castro out of position, just like Hawk. So Castro's going to have to be a bit more careful if he's going to power so damn hard. But everything so far has looked pretty clean from Castro other than being out of position that one time. So I'm yeah. still liking Castro quite a bit, quite a bit. And I really do hope that uh, Goku hits his timing a little bit better because really we are cutting, like absurd cutting. Like I've almost never seen cutting. Yeah, like what I'm doing at the gym these days. Yes. Like, we're, we're really going for it. So uh, yeah, no body fat left on Goku's builds at all. Uh, they are uh, lean, mean, bunker busting machines or sunken busting machines uh and honestly now you've got to be a little bit uh, a little bit ptsd from that knowing that like what do you have yeah. five sunkens get five sunkens yeah so generally you're feeling pretty good about five sunkens so. well, and his mute well i guess his mutas were way late so that obviously uh, played a part in that but, i mean once again cross positions on what is a fairly large map let's see how they play it there's no safe back natural this time and we do have actually an overpool from Castro. Again, something I don't play versus often when I play versus Castro. So I guess he's feeling like maybe Goku's going to go for something aggressive, which mm -hmm. we did see versus Hawk. Now, I'm actually surprised that we haven't seen a two barracks build just yet. Everything so far has just been normal. I mean, I don't blame him. He just got a victory going for the standard command center follow-up. It looks like that's what we're going to see again. And every time we've seen the command center follow-up, it's always been plus one weapon or, or yeah, five racks plus one weapon. So I have to wait and see if that's going to be the build of choice again. Depot coming down. Still no gas for Castro. So again, it's going to be a three hatch build. I wonder if he just takes top left. Uh, yeah, I was actually going to say, like, as soon as we see a map where there's not that easy safe location, I actually think that wouldn't be a bad idea here. Yeah, he's going to have high ground advantage. You can get Sunkins up there. You can get, he could go straight Lurker. He doesn't have to go Mutas. And then you just defend that. And all of a sudden we got three base, three gas. Still no third hatch. I'm wondering where it's going to go. I'm trying to see. Oh, we got a drone at bottom. Middle. Okay. Looks like we're going bottom left oh. or bottom right. But oh, we're getting through. We're killing Marines. He is body blocking, but no, he can't get the Marine in the bunker. In time. He does, but the Lings are able to run by. Things are coated in butter. What on earth? How do they slip through seven SCVs? Yeah, Lings get through. Big SCV pull is going to really hurt Goku here. He's trying to take out an SCV, but the Marine and SCV control are actually pretty good, but he does lose a lot of lost mining time right there. Meanwhile, I just, I Look, I hate to see There's it. no limit to uh, the locations we can build hatcheries at. As a Terran, it just pains me, man. How do they get away with they, it? How do they get away with it? 
Like this, this is what he does, and he always gets away with it. Always, just like LZ Gamer always got away with it. <laughs> and I'll never expect this base location. Aha! And now I feel even more pain because look at the command center at the net. It blocks the comm set. Oh so, wait, yeah, it does. So everything, <laughs> everything is just painful. Everything uh, just uh, uh, going uh, in favor of Castro. So you can tell somewhere out there, like the Zerg Overmind is doing this like comical, even villain laugh. Whoa. It's just like, it's this. Uh, this is all chaotic evil. What is he gonna do? Kill the bomb bunker? <laughs> He's got to. You need your skin. Now this five marine move out. I like it versus someone versus like Castro versus anybody else. This is extremely risky because normally speed would kick in, but look at the timing. It's going to be a little bit delayed, but the SCV does see that eight lings got made. So we do turn around smart move from Goku. This time it is two racks Academy, no eBay. So this is going to be pretty much a safe follow up. It means we're going to be going into four racks tech most likely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we've seen, what, five racks from him in that previous game to just go for the super hardcore bust. This time, I guess, being a little bit more moderate, I'm guessing he wants to maybe take a third phase. I don't know. I love it when Caster plays aggressively. It seems to be really working out for him, but I guess you can't just always play that way. Yes, can't just always play the same stuff. Fourth hatch Fourth. Before, before this fire. It's a 520. We don't it's even a, have to build it on location. It's a 520 anymore. fourth hatch. In games where he didn't nine pull like Gladiator, he had a 550 fourth hatch. So what, it's even what are we faster. About here? Like it's the, even faster. What, what's going to kill our hatcheries, Nyokin? Is it going to be it's two barracks painful. making? It's painful. I think we have a total of 10 Marines right now. He's going to have so much stuff. You know, back when I used to play on West, Zerg players used to do this. They would hide a base and just flood so many actual wings that you just upgraded wings. You just die. That may actually be what we see Castro go for. We saw him build 20 lurkers on gladiator <laughs> he doesn't need that many he could just go mass lane. but so far goku's in the dark he's got one comm sat at his main he's already scanned we don't know what he saw he can't even get his comm sat up right now he thinks he... the bunker's a comm sat and tries to scan with it i'm sorry that's not how that thing works he can't afford to kill it because there's a lot of lings right here he's worried if he kills it off he gets back yeah south. obviously like that that bunker is like so important but uh unfortunately uh, too important to kill. Well, this is one of the things that I always look for when people try and tech so hard and get a fourth hatch and stuff is our drone count, 21 to 25. Remember, we had like 30 drones. Yeah. Last time we had Mutas out at this point. Both so, players cut. So we're sacking a lot. So I think we kind of overstepped with our fourth hatch a little bit. Could have been a few more drones. Look, but all hatchery okay. lives matter here. Okay? It's okay. We're not counting out any hatchery, but yes, we will not be making units for a while because we just have no drones. Um, so hey, Mutas are on the way. They're out and uh, they're threatening here. But if you look at the bio, it's absolutely all in the natural. We did finally kill our bunker, but could we have found a worse time to kill our bunker, Nyokin? Yeah, okay, Mute is coming in. I'll get back to the comms out in a second. Mute is coming in. They're in a position where they can kill the depot. Actually killing the depot would hurt the Zerg more because the commsat is a complete wall. <laughs> so the Marines can't get out anymore. <laughs> so everything just is hurting Captain so hard. Captain Chaos is in love with this game. Well, we've got a decent amount of bio out now. So he's starting to move out. But that's a lot of lings and mutas. Yeah, I mean, much less defending back at home. How do you get out onto the map? Okay, well, he does run straight into the bio and lose a muta instantly. So that's certainly, excuse me, not what we're looking for. Uh, but it is a big map. He's got a lot of ground to cover with that bio. Uh, oh, no, no, he loses two meters for free. Obviously there are more on the way. So this is m m m m m mass mutas, um, but that's a lot of lings as well. Yeah, we do have more mutas being made. Factory has started. So he's starting to get up into his tech. He's got plus one armor coming in. So that's great for him. But Castro still has three bases mining. Goku doesn't even know that it's three bases mining. I don't think so he's, he should be able to punish bottom right, but I don't think he's going to because he simply doesn't know it exists. Meanwhile, Castro's just powering. He's got lurkers coming in. He's building more mutas. That's what he needs to do because he needs to make sure this bio ball doesn't find bottom yeah. right. And as long as he can keep that full control group of mutas, even if he loses a couple, look, we're just trying to keep the bio ball back at home while he greeds. He had to, he had to kill his own 
I told you. Bunker it, it, and Supply Depot. Yeah, it walled him in, so he kills it off. He's Supply Block for now. It's not a huge, <laughs> it's not a huge deal, but it's just comical. It's not like, great. And look, like you might think that, oh wow, we're saying mean things about these, you know, pro players, but like, look, this literally happens to everyone. Like Bisu makes double deserves. Like, he's not trying to get simultaneous upgrades, guys. It's uh it's just a struggle. This is the struggle of Rune War, and it happens to the best of them. Now, six sunk, because we figured out last game yes, that six five is sunkens the were not enough. Six is it. Okay, all right. We promise this time. This is still a lot, lot, lot of bio. So, I mean, thankfully, the mutas are back at home. We've got more of them, and the lings are still alive here. So... Oh! oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I'm so worried for these mutas' lives and the multitasking capabilities. Well, the lurker upgrade's almost done, so once that's done, Bottom right is secure. We we're not losing that base. Uh oh, we, oh lost a, we got two factories. We lost a bunch more mutas there. Um, or at least one more. But. Yeah, but we got two factories coming in for Goku. So is this a mech switch or are we just doing hybrid I, marine? I think tank? we're going to do hybrid or like the gradual transition. We're not lifting all our racks right now, you know? Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of gas to actually transition right now, but he is getting speed, which makes me think that it's going to be. A mech switch. Oh, we have floated our eBay. Okay. So we've got full on mech switch here. A lot of people have asked about that in chat. Why don't we see mech switches anymore? Well, we're seeing it right now. We're going to have to see how well Goku can make this work. I actually don't mind this switch because third base for free for Zerg for so long, you got to go for some type of super death comp, don't you? And mech is what you can actually trade very well with. So I, I'm liking yeah. the. Like in the mech switch, he's also taking the third base. Oh no, Mutas find it instantly. This is gonna be canceled. Yeah, oh, for sure. I mean, I'm not a big fan of cancel culture, but when it comes to losing bases like that, I don't think uh, Goku is either. So he loses that instantly. He can't deal with the Mutas at all. There's zero turrets in the back of his base. He's got some by the uh, command center, but I mean, they can still pick away at the uh, depots if they want to. Yeah, he's probably just going to pick off the add-on or just go in and kill the turret or just fly past the turret. Okay, never mind. Those turrets suck. <laughs> so he's just going to wipe out the SCV mine. And Stupid all these turret. Marines are so far on the map, they're having to stem back just to try and salvage saving any of these SCVs. So many SCVs went down there. And they have to go in single file here, Oh, too, my gosh. So. And they're stemmed with no medics. Nice. Oh, my. He's going to get... He may get all of the SCVs and all the Marines. He's killing all the Marines. Every single one of them going down. Now he is losing a lot of Mutas here, but I think this is definitely worth it. Well, and what are you gonna do? Like how are you gonna counterattack into six Sunkins after this? I think not, my dude. So the Marines will all die here and the harassment continues. Yeah, SCV still dying. Nothing going right for Goku. He does have his third base coming up. He's got a huge fireball just waiting there. But he's not able to actually kill these mutas. Five oh are still oh alive. My God. Hold me. Oh, I can't watch. Chat, tell me what happens here. I can't look at the screen. A little bit of a miscontrol there, but damage was done. So oh, this yeah, is no, fine. For sure. We're at 35 workers at 12 minutes into the game. So uh, we don't like our SCVs here, guys. Now I'm trying to see what we're going for from Castro. We've got Hive done. There's the evolution chambers. Looking to see if we have any evolution chambers. And we've got 2,000 gas. So this is more than likely just going to be more ultras or not. I see more lurkers actually being morphed, more mutas being made. Not too sure what the mutas are for. Maybe we have greater spire somewhere. No, no, uh, we don't. I think so. We don't have greater spire. So I don't know exactly what the mutas are intended to do. But regardless, he's got a huge bank, not the end of the world to blow a bit of gas here uh, and there. I don't know. This. I... Here come vultures, bottom right. They're just gonna try and run by. I think he is gonna get by. Yeah, this is a lot of exposed drones. This is what Goku needs to get back into this game. I mean, thankfully there are hydras here and the uh, vultures have single digit hit points. So, oh, watch them run into the mines. And boom goes the dynamite. Nice. Really nice mine hit there, but he needs more than this to get back into it because we've got even supply 85 versus 85. He's got his third base running. He still has a lot of bio just sitting here, but we don't have the full-on mech switch just yet. He's took so much damage, he can't afford to go for the full-on mech switch. Wow, he's trying to take mid-left. Is this how we get back into the game, He's, he's got to do something risky because he's so far behind. He sees, like, wait a second, this Zerg player, he wins by building a million bases. I think I, I should can build that. a million. No, unfortunately, that's not how this race works. Uh, 
not all things are equal here. And so this uh, fourth base will be, I think, pretty difficult to, uh, to hold. Yeah, you would think that there's no way. <laughs> there's no way this base can get up. It's six Marines and a Medic. But so far, I, I don't think Castro's going to fight it. Now, also, the Mutas aren't upgraded, so they die really fast. These mines are actually very nice because he oh, sees yeah. where the Mutas are going. And he's, they're free. And they're free. <laughs> so he can set up perfectly. You see he's stemmed into position next to this turret. I don't think he's actually going to turn around, though. Oh, he does Ew. turn around, surprisingly. The respect. Okay. I feel like Castro's been disrespecting Goku all game long, but he finally runs away from something he maybe could have powered through again. You know what I'm actually surprised about? What? Castro's had bottom right for so long, but where's our fourth base? Uh, you it's know, he not did up build yet. that fourth hatchery, which we thought was kind of greedy at the time, but it's not on location, so yeah, the we... mines are blocking our next hatchery from going down, I think so. Well, this fireball got murdered by yeah. the mass that mutas. Even there? That is the feet of clay for sure. So that gets taken out. Yeah, but what is the what do these mutas do? Like they're not upgraded. They're not guarded. They're zoomers, man. They're zoomers? Yeah. They're just busy zooming around the map. Do they have a retirement plan or a 401k? Hell no. But they're really good at playing Fortnite and flying around this map. Well, I guess it does force out some Goliaths, which are not really the greatest unit so i guess that's what castro has going for him it also clears out the mines he can start taking his fourth base now he does have evolution chambers plus one's gonna finish this he's getting drops he's getting defilers but this is a very weird unit comp i actually feel like this gives uh goku all the time in the world yeah. to make his next switch yeah and it get his upgrades yeah, that's what we're seeing. He was so gas-starved and mineral-starved for so long, he couldn't even go past three factories, yet now we see seven. So this was actually kind of Castro letting Goku yeah. just have bases. When you're Castro... giving Goku enough time to irradiate overlords, like, he's, he's... Yeah. Castro still hasn't found mid-left, so he thinks that it's just three base. <laughs> and actually, he's kind of in trouble because four base Terran versus four base Zerg, I still favor Zerg a little bit, but... It's not bad, so this is kind of a bit of a blunder from Castro. Also, look at the drone count. It feels like we've been at 40-ish drones for a we very long time. Workers, workers suck. Um, yeah, you know, you're right. It's a relatively low econ game for the position that we're at in the game. Uh, but I, I mean, for both players, this does feel like each of them are giving them, they are giving each other the opportunity to just get their dream comp. So we've got a bunch of Charon boosted uh, Goliaths out here. The Goli uh -oh. the uh, uh oh, uh, we all got right. some Where's vessels. our radiates and we don't we forgot about it. He's trying there to find go. the big clump. There it yeah. is. Yeah. Oh no. Not the best second irradiate, but it does get a bunch of damage done. It's finally pulled away. And... Oh, he pulls it into the Goliath to try to deal damage. That's not quite. Hard. Hey, we got lurkers out and lots of them, and so we're finally moving out to try to take a fourth and I guess fifth base here too. What are you at? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And six, yeah, six hatcheries. He was like, oh, I need to expand. Built three hatcheries. Yeah, you just, nice. you just triple expanded. We went from three base all the way up to six base in a mere matter, matter of seconds. Now the unit or the army composition from Goku really can't fight Castro right now. We got a lot of lurkers, a lot of def defilers, not a lot of irradiate right now. So Goku cannot really get on the offensive. Also, I don't think any of his key Okay, he does have plus one, but really plus two, just like in Terran versus Protoss, is the power spike in Terran versus Zerg. So he's going to have to sit for a while, build up that tank count, wait for the upgrades to kick in before he actually wants to get aggressive. But he does have eight factories now. He did a good job earlier laying mines. He needs to start laying some more mines on the top side of the map, start thinking about splitting the map himself. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, the map is going to get split here. You can kind of see that transpiring. So there's going to be these highly contested bases. This is Clayfield, so there is technically a base in the middle, but it's not really... I mean, it has six mineral patches, so, you know, nice. Yeah, it, he's not going to take that, that, that base. If it was a gas base like Fighting Spirit, oh, yeah, definitely sure. taking it, definitely. But I still like Goku's position, actually, because he's consistently building these tanks. He's up to eight now. He's got five vessels. For yeah. me, four or so is the magic number when mech switching. It's too hard to control more, more vessels than that. The fact that mutas are still out on the map Baffling. is 
makes it even better for Terran because this is almost dead weight. Here comes those vessels. Goodbye, Yudas. Oh Yudas. my god. Oh my god. Oh. Disgusting. Oh no. Oh, oh my my eyes. What am I watching? I think he does have enough for one air 88, but I mean all the Yudas are dying, so. That was uh, uh that was an expensive loss. I don't actually think it was a huge loss because we didn't we really didn't need them, but that was an expensive loss. Somehow there's an irradiate on the defiler across the map. But the Doka... defiler consumed a ling and died. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well Goku has a huge bank. Like 2k, 2k, Castro's really struggling. And he's now starting to take top left. At least Castro sees it. But look, we're maxed on three three mechs. Yeah, we almost have 2-1 oh, never for mind. the mech. I we... automatically assume that our upgrades are way ahead of where they are. That's my mulligan for the day, guys. Never mind. Um, drop coming at mid left. Yeah. Lurker to Filer Lings. I hate this drop. This is what, <laughs> Jay, this is what Jay Yoon does. He's like, here, deal with this one lurker. I'm like, like wait, what unit combination do you need to deal with that? And Dark Storm. Nice. <laughs> he drops two units and it does this much. All right, we're going top left two as well. Nothing to stop these lings. It'll just mow through everything with that crack upgrade. Yeah, that's going to be a cancel command center, and that is actually an important base. Now, Castro, despite having six bases, we're not mining from six bases, so he's actually like broke. Hundred. He's only got fifty drones. Like, I mean, I say only, but they need to be mining good places, and they're not. Yes. Do we just have AFK drones somewhere or something. No, I think that he just doesn't have enough drones. Apparently, Vultures killed 15 drones in the bottom right, so that happened. Okay, well, we missed that, and I'm still liking Goku's position. He's got 2-1 now. He instantly upgrades 3-2. That's that's what you need to be on top of, and that is what he's on top of. He's clearing out the lings at top left. Huge ling lurker attack through the middle. Where did all those tanks go? They moved to top middle, so he may not be able to actually intercept it. Looks like he is coming back. He is actually going to catch these lurkers. And all of a sudden, we've got a 50 supply lead for Terran. This is trouble for Castro. Where are his defilers? I don't see a single defiler out anywhere on the map. There's six, seven, eight lurkers at bottom right just to defend the mineral line. Jeez, okay. A little overkill there, but I mean, look. We, uh, how easy is it? Okay. <laughs> I love you cast a Dark Swarm and then unburrows and moves out of it. Goes right back to it. How you, how are you moving out against that? Well... I can tell you he's gonna go attack a different base. He's gonna attack top middle. There's no lurkers there. There's about 40, so, oh, oh, a huge hit. Boom goes the dynamite there for sure. No defiler here. I think it is a little bit further back. So we do need to get some dark swarm out, but he has, should have. I just don't up. think Castro has anything. He has 40 supply and lurkers that are on the other side of the map, not helping out this army at all. We just don't have an army. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've got a lot of blue out on the map, but this powerful mech port. We've got the lurkers. Oh, no! No! There's, Not like that! There's no Dark Swarm, so he can't even oh my, take uh, hits from the tanks. Where's our defilers? I thought that was the broken unit. Okay, finally, we're loading them up. But, uh... I, this is too many tanks. There's 12 mines tanks. everywhere. Mines, tanks everywhere. Vessels, I don't think, have died. A huge mine hit kills a bunch of lurkers there. Goku crushing it, takes out top middle any second now. There's one tank up there. He's on the brink of taking out both of these Nidus's, busting down through the net. And Some, somebody we're told broke. Goku this is elimination match. Somebody did, and Castro is broke, like actually just broke. Split the map and be broke. He has a lot of gas, but we are really lacking on the minerals. He's basically mined out in the main. I'm not, he's not bases. mining. He's not mining a lot of his bases efficiently, like mid right. Yeah, you're right. Half you're the right. minerals aren't being mined. But finally, we're coming through. Ultras jump on these tanks as they unseage. This is what he needed. Some good mine drags. The swarms are actually amazing, and we're doing it. Question mark. Uh, I mean, look, the tanks will die here, but. The supplies, the resources, certainly massively still in Goku's favor. Yeah, and this was before 3-2 kicked in. So yeah. this was basically the weakest the Terran army's ever going to be, especially when it's on siege. So now we've got, we got the killing spike for Terran. This is a huge power move from him. He's moving across the map. He's got his eyes set on what looks to be thought mid-right, but instead he's just going to intercept these lanes and ultras. 
mine is. Oh my god, altars just do not exist. It's a good thing they cost just as much as those mines do. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, I, I mean, it looked like a, a brilliant defense there for Castro, but I don't know how short-lived this is going to be. Well, the counter attack the bottom middle yeah. just gets instantly destroyed. So Fire bats exist, so that's going to get cleaned up. And we're... Castro's got to get a bet, got to get better trades because ultras are really just not great versus tanks. And he did have a good trade up top once he wiped out those 15 tanks, but now... I don't know if he's going to have another engagement like that because it was, you know, Terran was way across the map, could not reinforce. Now he's got to move all the way across the map to have another engagement like that. Now I'm looking at the vessel. I only see one. So at some point in the game, looks like Castro did wipe out the vessels, which is actually massive. Uh oh. A lot of uh -oh. idle SCVs uh -oh. for Goku at his natural. He needs to transfer them to top left. Because even though we got a 1.5k bank, that will go down very quickly. I, I was going to say, he did lose about 50 supply in that last uh, engagement. So time to time to re macro, uh, and I think he is moving those SCVs, so he'll be okay on there. The one vessel does worry me because all of a sudden you lose that, uh, you can kind of get stuck a few places, especially against all these lurkers. But I say all these lurkers, but there's actually not that much defending these southern bases. Yeah, there's just a handful of lurkers. I don't see a defiler anywhere. There's yeah. lurkers at the top, lings at the top. Luckily, there's a Nidus still alive. Vultures at mid right, oh wiping out the drone, killing a lurker too. Yeah, and the defiler that was there in the section, I believe, that's the splat I saw. But yeah, this inevitable Terran push looks a little bit like TVP. Trying to scourge this vessel. Oh it only my gets God. one of them to connect. Look how many ultras just popped out of that Nidus. They somehow get on top of all the tanks. There's no swarm, so they're still gonna die? Question mark. Well, no, there's way too many. Never even mind. if they die, they traded pretty well. Wiping out all the tanks takes so long to rebuild, but because Castro's broke, it's gonna take him so long to rebuild Ultras. But Jeez. Goku has taken top left now. He's sent SCVs up there. We're still missing about 12, but at least he's mining three base now. His econ is going strong. Meanwhile, Castro's still struggling to get minerals. This is a crazy game. This is actually crazy. Where so are... what's the next move? I think can, uh, securing the rest of the bases on the map is obviously like the inevitable way to win this. And Goku's doing an amazing job taking two more bases in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, he's got one up in mining with those idle SCVs from the natural and the uh, upper left base is being taken as well. But look at this stream of Zerg units. Like, there's mines in the way, but let's see if he's got Dark Swarm. Obviously, Defilers are pretty slow. The the setup here, the Goliaths are behind the tanks. There's no Vultures in front to buffer, so quite a bit of tanks going down here, but I don't think there's enough Zerg. There's not enough Zerg. I thought for sure. That was four tanks and four Goliaths and he somehow didn't get through. Hmm. How's that possible? I don't know, but Terran, Terran unit's pretty strong. And look at the supply for Castro now. Plummeted, 40 supply, and still struggling with the minerals. The plan for for Goku right now, just don't die. Secure top left, Yeah. get his 15 tanks going, max out, and then try and push top middle again. I'm going to send this replay to David Kim and tell him that Brood War needs to be balanced around this game, just to make sure that we don't see any of this ever again. Uh, I mean, look, it, it is, uh, it was a good decision to transition, obviously, into mech so strongly. He got great upgrades. He's weathered the storm of a lot of very, very struggleishes times with those defilers and dark storms and lurkers, oh my. And now, I mean, I think Goku's just broke as a, or uh, not Goku, uh, Castro is super broke. He has managed to take another base, but he still only has 50 workers. Yeah, and now Goku has finally transferred his SCVs all the way to top left, so he's got four base econ right now. The only thing really lacking in his army is we just need to click that starport, just build five vessels out all at once. We need a bit more vessel usage, but everything else is looking great. He's got so many tanks at his main, outside of his main. He's got a ton of vultures, so he can lay mines everywhere. He probably needs to just lay mines and then throw them, and then, or throw some of them and rebuild tanks. How, wait, how are you throwing mines? Like, is that a research you have to, like, I wish I could throw mines. Map? I wish I could just throw a mine across the map, or just blow up probe lines. <laughs> Lurkers. We're blowing up lurkers though. So every time I see uh, vultures killing lurkers, I'm like, something's wrong with this picture. Oh my god. He okay. has so many ultras, but they're just getting chewed up by these mines and tanks. But we're running through another minefield. Huge hits. 
soften up three or four ultras right there. And we don't care about these ultras. They did their job. They laid mines and they got hits on the ultras. And was then, we're, then we're gonna rebuild tanks with them, I hope. Yeah, the mines are 25 minerals a piece, the vultures are free, so. Yeah, we don't care about vultures, so. Really, we just need to see more. Actually, we just need more add-ons. That's really it. What does he only have three add-ons? Yes, three add-ons. <laughs> we yeah. should have nine add-ons. Yeah, what's, what's the point of not building extra add-ons? That's not the corner you need to cut right oh, now. Oh, something. Oh, a drop or something killed all the SCVs at top left. It was one lurker. So it, it did eventually get cleaned up. But how many kills did it get? Several. Looks like it got about 10 or so. So nice counterattack from... From Castro? Oh, okay. I We're destined to be even on workers for everybody yeah. to stand. So many Ultras moving out again. Hopefully they don't run into these mines. I don't think they're going to take some big hits this time. So. Doing a good job focusing them off. Yeah. Um, or down, rather. Um, and, and this map just doesn't get more split than this. We've just decided that nobody's allowed to pass to the other side. Looks like everybody's just too scared to actually do like a committed attack because of so many pass on the map where you can just counterattack. Yeah. Well, I mean, both players are pretty broke. Like, uh, Goku doesn't have any minerals, and uh, Castro doesn't have any gas. So, we'll see what it looks like. Several drones going down here, but once again, I mean, the count's pretty similar. It looked, like, it almost looks like patrol from uh, Castro on his side of the map, just up and down and up and down, and nothing's allowed past this massive Ultra Army. But look at how many tanks we have for Goku. As soon as he moves out, good luck. Oh, I think we're doing it. Here we go, running all these lurkers straight into a million billion tanks and up a hill. Not the place to fight. Four ultras just died immediately. Tank, tanks didn't die. None of them died. And now Goku's feeling confident to actually counterattack across the map. He's got a ton of Goliaths, so something like a Muta Switch will not actually work. I'm just trying to find, do we have a Defiler anywhere? Two in production, but that doesn't matter if we can't actually get a Dark Swarm down and done down in time. Tanks are set up, but there's, again, no support, at least not for now. Did we forget the filers existed? Like, do we not have those units anymore? Um, oh, look how fast the Ultras die. Look, what are we doing here? I mean, the high ground, all right, it's ours, but nothing else is. The Ultras are, I mean, good enough to get on top of the tanks, but they still just blow up. I mean, down bottom, the Ultras actually did clear out a little bit of the mech army, but, um, I mean, we finally have Dark Swarm out, so at least that's gonna hold us for a second. But I mean, Siege Tank still exists, and so does our one lonely vessel. Yeah, one lurker saves the day. Nice. How broken. And look, we'll have to see if these tanks actually refocus, because if they don't, actually they just fire forever. So like, if you send a Ling in, it actually just kills five tanks. <laughs> it just actually, they just actually never retarget. Now, what does Castro want to do? Is he gonna set up a huge flank? Is he gonna try and come in, I guess, from the other angle, what's the move? Meanwhile, Goku wants to harass mid right, but two lurkers set up. Oh, he gets in anyways. Never mind, lurkers suck, by the way, guys. <laughs> All the drones here should be able to be picked off. There's mines that should target onto the lurkers. Wow, he is just going to lose every single drone. We're down to below 50 workers at this point. A drop. Uh, oh my god, they're all dying. Oh my god, he's gonna lose every overlord. Oh my god. Okay, he actually does get several of those units to drop out, but a lot of overlords did just die there. We're 141 out of 162, 32 minutes into the game. So suffice it to say, it's Struggle Town for Castro, but he's got Dark Swarm on top of tanks with lings underneath them. That is one very cost-effective way to clear out all of these tanks. Yeah, there we go. We finally get a cost-effective trade. He needed it desperately. He was about to lose bottom middle. Meanwhile, Goku does have top left. He needs a few more SCVs up there, but overall, still, f oh, we got a ton of SCVs at mid left that are about Ooh. to be not mining. So hopefully he finds those and saturates top left. But I still like his position. He's still got about 10 tanks moving out. He's got vultures. He's doing such a good job consistently using these vultures, not to just lay mines, but also once they're basically useless, just harass drone lines. So this has just been fantastic from him. Even with all the patrolling from the Castro, the drone lines are remarkably unprotected. I mean, I guess they are, but the vultures uh, find a way. Uh, and have actually done quite a bit of damage here. We're, we're back into Mutas. Oh boy. We're somehow maxed out as Terran, but it looks like our army is just tiny, doesn't it? It does look pretty tiny. It's very segmented. I mean, obviously Clayfield is a very large map, but let's see if we can bust through this again. Where's our Dark Swarm? It's the secret sauce. We just don't have any more of it. Oh, some mines, but they do get targeted down there by those cracklings. The tanks trying to move back. They do get caught unseized in the middle of the map. 
So, you know, we're finding some good places. Uh, Castro's doing his best, even though he's completely out of gas. He's making the minerals work. Well, again, another great trade for Castro, getting the most expensive units here. And have tanks, five go down basically for free. Irradiates, they went off, but didn't kill any of the ultras. It's still 180 to 140, though. More units coming out from Goku Ultras. They need to back off, I think. They can't fight. They can't fight this army. This is a little bit too much at this point. But Goku's got his eyes set on bottom middle. This is a key base for for Castro because it's only one of basically two bases that's really up and running. Like, well, I guess bottom right has a bit of minerals, but this is a very important base. He gotta hold this base. Okay, so how do we hold this base? Uh, I mean, there's Nidus down there. He's got Dark Swarm. Oh no. Ultras just ate four mines. Yeah, and there's plenty more where that came from. Yeah, get out of here. So this is this base is dead. This base is gone, and this is what 15 drones also going down. So again, we're gonna be very low. But here comes Castro. He's gonna make a stand. Try and take out these tanks. Where's our defiler? Come on, come on, defiler. That's Ling Ultra. But we are trading so well. The defensive matrix come down. I have one tank went down in this whole wait, fight. Wait, 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 wait a second. You're telling me that like. 3-3 mech trades well in the late game, I hope. It trades extremely well. Jeez, Jesus. Okay, well, uh... Well, you know, look at our supply now. I, yeah, I think this might be the nail in the coffin. 100 supply up now for Goku. You know, it's hard fought. I, know, I get that this is the elimination match. Neither player wants to tap out. They're both playing incredibly hard, but, I mean, at some point, uh, it's time. And Vultures probably should steal the deal here because yeah. now we're down to one base mining he, he's he's just traded so well with what he has oh so it's gonna be castro eliminated which i didn't think was actually gonna happen yeah. i thought castro might actually be the one to make it out in second but again that just proves that the players are very close in skill yeah, I, like, we, I think we knew that era, the second place was gonna be super competitive in this group uh but I don't know if I could have predicted quite a game like this. Uh, just never saying die here. I, Castro hanging on until the very, very end. But uh, I think this is basically the end. He has no more money. Uh, losing all of his workers, all of his bases. All yeah, of his army. He just doesn't have anything. This is probably the last ditch effort where we have such low econ coming in through top middle. That's, That's it. it. All right, GG. Castro taps out. And Goku, I never doubted you. <laughs> Goku es mi pastor. Nada me faltará. Like, this guy is... In Goku, we trust, basically. Um, I am I was pretty excited to see who was going to come out on top. I would say that maybe at the, say, 30-minute mark, I was no longer excited to find that out. But at the end, I am still happy uh, that uh, Goku advances out because he is kind of a dark horse here. Um, and I'm not just saying that because that's what Tai 2 called him in our BSL update article on uh, Team Liquid. So uh, it's exciting to see him make it all the way to the final game of the night to play against the North American player Hawk, who has made it to that decider match uh, in the end. But before we head to our decider match, I've just got to process all that greatness that I just saw there, Nyokin. Oh, yeah. So while I do that, we're going to take a quick 